Over the last 10 years, high streets in Britain have changed dramatically. The rise of internet shopping, coupled with the recession and years of austerity, means that people spend their money in different ways. And this is very visible on local shopping streets, where we see a glut of vacant properties and empty former shop units. So this creates a problem. How can we restore high streets to what they used to be, the hub of the community? The government have responded with a variety of different initiatives, both at local and the national level. And to an extent, these appear to have been very successful. And we see the rise of new types of consumption on our high street in the form of vintage shops, organic cafes, and pop-up microbreweries. For example, here in the East End, and we're in London Fields, the local high street, the local shopping street, has very much changed its reputation and it's attracted a new type of consumer along, affluent, and that might be termed a hipster type of audience. And this has in some ways reversed the fortunes of the high street. But what have the impacts been for local communities? My research suggests that while new businesses create jobs and attract new type of consumers, they often fail to serve the local communities who've long relied upon them for their day-to-day -day shopping, but also their social needs. We see this here in London Fields, but we also see it in Shoreditch, where the Bangladeshi businesses are being slowly displaced. Also in Brixton, where Caribbean businesses are under threat and also in Seven Sisters, where the Latin American indoor market is currently struggling against new development. So the question is, how can we encourage regeneration of the high street without it leading to gentrification? My research suggests that this is possible, but it requires councils to work closely with retailers and together with the community to come up with a sustainable high street that works for a variety of different pockets and different cultural tastes. Study geography with us at King's to find out about this and other exciting research.